One-way hash functions are a method of encryption used in many ways to impact our lives. Encryption can be used to protect our login information, hide international secrets, and can even be used in cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin to maintain the security of the currency. So let's get into it. What is a hash function? A hash function is a function that changes data from large or small data sets into a set of a specified size. Here's an example of what a simple one looks like. But hash functions can get both more special and complicated when they are one-way hash functions. This can be seen mathematically by observing that it's really easy to find f of x if you know the value of x, but extremely hard to find x if all you know is the output. That's called a one-way hash function, and this one-wayness is the focus of this video. Bitcoin is a well-known cryptocurrency used for secure transactions and currently seen as more of an investment than a currency. This cryptocurrency uses a hash function called SHA-256. Remember how a hash function takes a message of any length and turns it into a hash value or output of a specifically set amount? For Bitcoin, the input data is changed into a 64 character or 256 bit hash value. So, because the output is a standard length, that means that any input, whether it's just the letter Q or the entire Percy Jackson series, would produce a specific, unique hash value of a standard length. Further, it would produce the same result every time it was run through the hash function. But importantly, there's no way to get back to the original input by starting with only the hash value output. This one-wayness property of hash functions is very useful. One common application is protecting passwords. For example, every time I enter the password cool16, it produces the same hash value. The website can recognize the hash value and allow me access to my account, but no one can look at the hash value and figure out my password. So they can't log into my account even if they have access to the encrypted version of cool16. So what makes this encryption so difficult to reverse? Let's look at an example. Remember logarithms from Algebra 2? It's pretty easy to solve 2 equals 7 to the x power using logarithms but two is equivalent to seven to the x power mod 11 is a little more daunting. The modular part means that this equivalence is looking for the remainder of seven to the x power divided by 11. You're trying to find what value for x would leave a remainder of two when seven to the x power is divided by 11. This can't just be solved with logarithms and takes a lot of educated guesswork. And even this example is extremely basic. The larger the numbers involved, the more difficult it is to reverse, eventually getting to the point of near impossibility. One-way hash functions are an extremely useful application of sophisticated mathematics, whether you're in charge of bank account security, or an international spy, or just an everyday person who uses passwords. 